Hey Leo, it's Goddess Puff, and this is your next 48 hours for April 3rd to the 4th of 2023. All right, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Leo. In 48 hours for Leo. You could be nostalgic about elementary school or middle school. I'm getting elementary school. We have fairy glamour. So you could be going down memory lane with someone you went to school with. Moth, caution. It's telling you to be cautious about this. Magpie addiction. Yeah, don't. <laughs> don't go down memory lane with this person. Overall energy is bad direction. Go in a new direction. So this is someone from your past. I feel like it's someone you went to school with. So it could be elementary school, middle school, high school, college, any type of school or educational system or someone from your past you just grew up with. And it's like this person wants to catch up or go down memory lane with you. And with that direction, it's telling you no, go in a new direction. Because I feel like this person is going to take you back down a karmic cycle where they will take you into a karmic cycle of addictions and things like that. It doesn't have to be a substance. It could be anything, addiction to anything, codependency, people, places, things, habits, substances, patterns, whatever. It's telling you to be cautious. And not to go in that direction with this person. Because I feel like this person's trying to make something look glamorous. Or trying to draw you in or manipulate you into something. Maybe um, maybe you quit smoking. This person wants you to smoke with them. Or they invite you to smoke with them. And you think it's just going to be that. But then they try to like get you to drink too. Or to do other drugs with them. And who knows. For some of you, this person may even lace their blunts. You don't know. A spirit's telling you to be cautious. With this person because they make something seem fine or fun or beautiful or nice yeah moth to a flame glamour so maybe someone looks attractive maybe someone's just attractive or they have a way with words but they want to get you obsessed with them or they have an obsessive personality it's something like that all right let's get into the tarot video yeah, because I feel like someone maybe they may look really attractive or alluring or something seems like a good idea, but it's not. It's a it's literally a trap. Hmm. All right, we have Temperance Sagittarius. Page of Swords. Queen of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Ace of Cups. Yeah, there's a... <laughs> Someone finds you really attractive. Uh, it could be a Sagittarius. could be dealing with a fire sign or someone who has a highly aspected... Or oh, just a Ten of Cups. Someone is obsessed with you, okay? Someone is like, this is the end all be all. I want to be with you. We're going to be together. We're going to have kids. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. And they may mean that shit, but this person has a problem. They're obsessed with you, okay? And this person is not what they seem. Don't do it. You may already, some of you may already have kids with this person or be married to this person or heavily invested with this person. Yeah, like there's a new relationship with a fire sign, a Sagittarius. And they've been spying on you or you've been spying on them. I feel like they've been spying on you. A Sagittarius has been spying on you and they want love. They're obsessed with you. This person got the Ten of Cups, but you're like, ah, no, that's not what this is. Then they got the Ten of Pentacles behind that. Okay. Um, let's get into this. Maybe this person's already in a relationship. They're already married or you are. But they, they're attracted. They like this person's addicted to cheating. Or the sleeping with uh, married, happy, committed people. Clarify this. Because I see someone that's already happy, already committed, already has everything here. They're happy, but it's like this person has addiction. Like they want to sleep around. Or they're obsessed with you. Let's clarify this. But I do feel like there's huh, clarifying temper the Ace of Pentacles. The fool. For some of you, this person just sees you as like the end all be all. You have it all. So they want you. Like you have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Stability. Abundance. I feel like they're telling you to be cautious with someone because you may have all these things already. Maybe you have a happy marriage and um, stability, a happy family, and finances. 
And then this person could ruin that. Temperance Sagittarius is here again. Two of Cups. So it's telling you to be cautious about this person because they may be tied to someone. Queen of Wands clarifying the Queen of Wands. You guys match each other. Okay, so you both could be, this is a very specific story. You both could be in relationships, but you guys want each other. Like, um, and this could be, it doesn't matter what your gender is, but I'm seeing two feminines, page of cups. You could be friends simply, but it turns into more. You and a Sagittarius or Aquarius, y'all could be friends, but it, it ends up turning into more. Clarifying the ace of cups is the sun. So I'm getting, this is not for everybody, but I'm getting two married women. You both are happily married. And y'all become like close best friends and then y'all start messing around with each other. It starts at best friends and it turns into more. Five of swords. Yeah, and this person can't, it becomes an obsession. Or maybe you simply have a, have a friend that sees all this with you and they're obsessed with you. Yeah, five of swords. They're obsessed with having you. The sun, Leo energy. They see like happy times with you. I mean, it is happy times with the sun. Like warmth, abundance, happiness. And they want all this with you. It could be two Sagittarians as well. So I'm seeing, I'm just getting two. Y'all are both attracted to each other. Page of Wands. There's attraction here. There's love here. There's stability here. But I get like with glamour, caution, and addiction, I feel like it's not what it seems. And that someone here is obsessed. If you try to walk away or start your own family or something, this person is not like they're they're obsessed. Yeah, it's this offer looks really good, but I feel like there's something that maybe you, they're telling you to be cautious about becoming obsessive, but ah, it's telling you to move in a new direction towards someone new. Maybe this fire sign is the new person. You could be moving on from one Sagittarius to another as well, but there's someone here who can't let this go. Because there's someone here that you get along with very well, but there's someone here who's delusional. <laughs> All right, let me get you your final message. This is like someone you have a genuine, reciprocal, loving connection with. Like everything's perfect with one person. And then there's this person who sees all that with you, like they're delusional. I feel like people may tell you, you and this person are like the same person. I don't know if you have a twin or this is your best friend. But this person acts just like you or they look just like you. They may talk just like you. Or we have doll, illusion, old wounds, childhood. That's what I'm getting. Like someone's delusional. Maybe you two grew up together. You could, you guys could be twins or this person always wanted to be like you. Elixir, yeah, I knew, I knew someone wasn't right about this. Someone's not right about this. It's reminding me of the movie, The Silent Twins, like their relationship. Elixir, health, toxicity, attending. And then we have Toad, humor, their grotesque joy. It's like there's a lot of love here. And this could be a sibling, but I was getting a friend. But take it as it resonates. Or a family member. This person's... Mm -mm. Overall energy is tree, wisdom, good roots, connection. It's like you give them some type of life, whether it be a mother, child, uh, father, who it doesn't matter. It's a family member or someone close to you. Lots of love, lots of history with this person, but uh, it's something I write about this person. I also feel like for some of you, this is a small note. Maybe, um, yeah, because I get that someone has an addiction to something. It could be drinking or codependency. And maybe they overcame it. And y'all are laughing about it now. 
But I feel like for some of you, this person is pretending that they've overcome this. And then for some of you, I feel like you overcame drinking, but someone's trying to get you back into it. It's like someone wants to take you back down a path because you had so much fun with them. But you're remembering that that path wasn't always, it was toxic. So, okay. So this is like someone trying to get you back in a pattern from your childhood. They're, again, they're reminding you of, they're making you look back at the past in rose colored glasses and all the fun you had and how much you guys got along. But then you start to remember why you separated from this person because all these cards are good and happy. But then with the Oracle cards, we have illusions, old wounds, childhood, health, toxicity, attending, and then caution and addiction. This person could have obsessive personality disorder and they want to become you or something like that. But I'm going to leave it there. I see peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.